Okay, everyone. On this episode of Retro Rentals, we move into the L category, and we will be playing Le Emperor. That's about as French as I get. Uh, this game came out in the United States in November of 1991, and came out in Japan a little earlier than that. Um, this is our first Koai strategy turn-based historic game play thing. Um, it should be interesting. Um, for one, it's a very different type of gameplay than just me running around trying to do a platformer and such. So, um, I do actually have the back of the box for you, so let's go ahead and switch to that. Okay, there we go. Um, we supply the past, you make the story. It's quite a big theme for all these games, I suppose. So I'll go ahead and read this to you here instead of reading it from GameFAQs like I usually do. Napoleon Bonaparte, fighting his way from an officer to Emperor of France, he came closer to unifying Europe than any other leader. A military genius, his weakness in politics eventually led to his demise. To arms! The French Revolution is over, and the people are in search of a new leader. Enemies of the state surround you. As Napoleon, you must gain respect, protect, and strive towards the greater glory of France. You command the Grand Armée. Army, 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 whatever. Stop trade with threatening nations and go to war. Fire your cannons from the mountains, charge your cavalry, and build bridges to reach enemies across treacherous waters. Diplomacy and military tactics are key to your success. Only you can lead the French to victory over Europe. Mm hmm. Okay, so. It's been two weeks since I've done a retro rental, and this game, I think, is partly to blame. Um, I wanted to make sure that I do a good, solid showing my first Kawaii game. Um, a lot of my recent subscribers and peers, I guess, not subscribers, people I'm subscribed to, whatever, um, they have done a lot of the other Kawaii games, some of the more popular ones, like Romance of the Three Kingdoms for... Um, they've done Aerobiz, and, I mean, Grimmith, Bobo the Vulture, JG Mystery, that group of people. I was a little worried that I wasn't going to be able to show this game off. I don't want, didn't want to start it up and just not know what the heck I'm doing, because I don't have any sort of rule book or such thing. And... That sort of thing really can put a, a damper on your desire to do a recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play and try to aim for about half hour's worth of footage here, aside from this intro. And where I get to is where I'll get to. I probably won't show everything about the game. Um, our strategy games, they can be really long, really complicated. And I don't know everything. I know I said I did some research. I did read some Let's Play or some yeah some Let's Let's Plays. I read some facts on Game Facts about it, but I think the only real way I'm going to learn is to actually play it. And I don't think I want to invest more time than I already have. So onward to the gameplay. Okay, Koai presents. A Ko Shibuyusa production. Historical simulation series. We'll be seeing a lot of that. I'm sure. They did a lot of games in that series. Director Barras of France. Probably not pronounced that way. Our homeland is in a crisis. You must save France. Officer Marat. France. Or Murray. Commander, we await your orders. Josephine, wife of Napoleon. Oh, Napoleon! You have my faith in all you do. Happy 
the French marching music. And some minister or something. Napoleon is a simple warmonger. The international realm is mine. Be an enemy here, obviously. British Navy guy. Let the French come. Let them eat cake. If they dare, we will give them a true fight. Eye patch. That means he's a badass. Right. The Elder General of Russia. Corsican fool. The plains of Russia will beat them yet. Yes, I know one thing about Napoleon. Do not invade Russia. Or at least, not right away. With me leaving our army, Bonaparte will be controlled. Nah, <laughs> right. Napoleon Bonaparte. Brave soldiers, follow my command. I will lead you to victory and fame. Apparently supposed to be a brilliant general, high charisma, but very low politics score. The Emperor! Music. Alright, license by Nintendo of America. Let's get going here. So, 30 minutes from now is what the plan is anyway. Maybe 20 minutes. Don't want it too long because I know this would drag on if I did. So, we could go ahead and just go deep into the glorious empire. We go at the very beginning where I know we are limited. Ugh. So I think our choices are probably going to be Desire for Power or the End of the Revolution. I think I'm going to take the End of the Revolution, just because it seems a little bit more balanced, a little bit more in my favor towards the Empire. And I hear you can do some pretty good stuff. So, go ahead and End of the Revolution. You can watch the computer play. Yeah, that's a great let's play. No, we are going to play the game. Play the game. View wars in other cities? No. Everything alright? Yes. Alright. This is our map. We lead France. This is our first turn. In our... I guess this is the... Um... Diplomatic type menu. So, we can do foreign stuff. That's our supplies. I do believe that's gold, food, materials, uh, industry, trade, farming. Then the food and materials with the boxes around them are sufficiencies for the city, how much we need to keep the people happy. Um, the little cross thing is like hospitals, health of your city, and then the last is ships. And the whole country. So, maybe not pressing that button. Okay, let's try B. No. Foreign, okay. How did I... Anyway, uh, in the foreign thing, we can make an alliance, we can stop trade, declare war, offer friendship, or exchange prisoners. Um, army, we can s recruit our prisoners of war, or we can set our war expenditures. I want to set the war expenditures to max, because this will help me make cannons. Okay, and I have... I can only do two things on this screen each time it comes up. Um, let's see, deploy. We don't really have anything to deploy yet. Uh, let's see, command. Issue city, command to which city. Uh, here's where I kind of fall apart. I don't know what's going on. We do know that we have most of Italy at this point. What I'd like to do is take that city down there. In the bottom of let's go down over here. Thirty-seven Rome, national tax none, supply none, mega tax payment. Uh, I do not know what that means. Yeah, 
guess. Make this city a supply to base. No. Okay. Yes. I have no idea what that was. But, anyway, rest means I end my turn. View and summaries are like data. Trade, trades with other people. <sighs> Reserves. City has used up its turn. Wonderful. Uh, that guy. Okay. I'm doing on this. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Um, well, one thing I do know I want to declare war on someone. And I think it's Naples. Naples is what I want to declare war on Naples. Choose whom is a messenger. Now we want politics. So A is better. Let's send that guy. We have declared war on Naples. Huh. No movement or use points left. We'll go ahead and rest. Are you done? Yes. So hopefully I'll get a battle in this. Prussia declared war on Holland. Okay. Plotting strategies. Russia's envoy Benningsen. We stand at odds. I'm declaring war. Wonderful. Russia declared war on our country. Okay. England has stopped trade with us. See, when we declared war on Naples, it impacted everybody who had been a friend of Naples, who had alliances, because there's lots of alliances around here. You piss off our friend, we're pissed off at you, and so forth and so forth. So the England thing may be a problem. Declaring war with Austria. I'm not sure which country is which. Bavaria has stopped trade. See, I'm not as worried about the stop trade because I don't plan on trading with anybody. If I can help it. Okay. This is the like the military. England's Army of London has attacked something. England defeated the intercepting fleet. So they're, they're attacking Sweden, I guess, up there, something like that. And they won! Christiana. I assume that's a city. Okay, here we are. This is the military screen, I guess. Um, so. Army, let's recruit. How many recruits? 455 recruits, please. That's what we're doing this turn. Vanio's army has attacked Venice! Oh no! We have to defend. I assume. Or they can just take it without any sort of... Berlin has attacked Amsterdam. Okay. I didn't get any chance to defend the attack. That's strange. Holland is requesting reinforcements from Liel. Sure, I'll help Holland. I like clogs and women in braids. Prussia's army occupied. <laughs> Holland was completely destroyed. Well, that was a total fail. Wonderful. Okay, so. City strategies. Now we have some soldiers. So let's try and they probably want to take back that city they took from us, but I want to go over here. I have to invade from my home city? That's not very right. Alright, wonderful. Okay, fine. 
Um, let's see. Don't know what those symbols mean. So let's view nation. France. I have my composure, something, 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 something. Don't know what that did. How wonderful. Say that again. Good fortune shine. That wasn't what you said last time. Wonderful. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. No, I don't want to see any more in summer, please. Again, maybe we'll see summer. Foreign. That's what I was looking for. Foreign affairs of France. Now, here we are. We have an alliance with Spain. We are at war with Naples. We are neutral with Bavaria, Turkey, Sweden, and England. And also, and we have friendship things with Denmark, Portugal, and Russia, actually. Interesting. So, Russia, Austria, and Naples are the enemy. Okay. So, can I... No. Please. Invade. So, who can I invade? Invade where? So, let's try to take that city back that we have taken from us. I have to move? Okay, let's see. Send officers. To which city? We're gonna move down over here. Move to which city? Okay, that's not right. How oh, wonderful. Officers, move to which city? Move to this one. Maybe it's not registering that I'm trying to move. See, this is why I wanted to know a little bit more about the game until I started playing it, so that I wouldn't be floundering like this. But really, I just... I don't know what the numbers mean. Really, my best advice is to tell you to find someone who does know what this game is doing. Um, supply? No. I think supply means to give food to the city. I don't know why I can't invade anybody. 